Yeah, so we'll do this one for you guys on the other far side. All right, so I want you to grab your book and bust it out and compare it next to any book. Grab an algebra book, grab a trig book, grab a general relativity book, Bible, and your saw model there and tell me how different. For what it is, give, the Bible gives you a map, it gives you a train, it gives you a couple perspectives of that train. It gives you a bunch of write-outs about percentages. This one bumped it up 20% X. I mean, I could call that about any situation 20% X. You just rationalize the dark matter of it to be 10% of what it was, has 10% of it, and then it's like the real object has 20% of what that was, was some XYZ of multiple things, but 1% of it was 20%, and then 80% of it was a bunch of acoustic flutter and wobbles of those things that nobody really understood about the states, uh, the time at the table, last supper. It's very cynical, but it's also very physics and the gravity that represents it. Uh, it's kind of, that's the problem with me. That shit's in my sunshine. It gets in a lot of the way sometimes. But that's the math problem. Uh, I needed to know how to work that book. It's the, the motor page on there, that home screen page on there. That gave me some parts, but basically any one thing I add to the reason why I'm there becomes a math gap. It becomes, there's no serviced way to, this is where you put that bolt in or anything like that. So, even though they're normal everyday actions to you and you would do them, they're not labeled, so therefore the bolt serviceability doesn't isn't isn't some bridge build plank. It's uh you know you don't know the sheer uh, forces of the bolts or anything like that, and so problem. Well, we know enough about it to do it in certain places. It's not that you need to do it everywhere. But then you kind of do. So I mean. Like,